Hi. Whether you decide to be the helm, flex, build, or main cannon, it is essential that you understand how to consistently hit cannon shots. No matter which role you're playing, shooting and hitting cannons is an integral part of being a master at that role. So while this video will show you tips specifically geared towards the role of main cannon, it'll also have general tips that can be applied to anyone who finds themselves on a cannon. So without further ado, here's part 2 of my 4 part series on the different roles of a ship, this one being the main cannon. Now obviously, everyone already knows the basics of how to be an MC. You just shoot the cannons, plain and simple. However, if you want to become a better cannoneer, you need to know when, where, and how to hit the opposing ship. The first thing we'll talk about is how to hit the shots in the first place. Now there are two things you need to do in order to hit your shots. Have enough lead, and have enough height. Lead is the left and right movement of the cannon, and height is the up and down. Since the cannonball is a projectile, you will need to shoot it in preparation for it to hit 7 seconds later. You can't shoot directly at the other ship in all situations, and that's where leading comes into play. And the height at which you shoot depends on the waves and how far away the opposing ship is. In order to hit more cannon shots, you need to know when and how to shoot both of these motions. Let's start with leading. If both ships are moving parallel to each other and are at the same speed, then you won't need to lead your shot. However, if one ship is moving faster than the other, then you will need to lead it. And if you're circling each other, or in an orbital, as some people call it, then you will need to lead your shot. Now this is pretty standard stuff. This isn't mind-blowing to know that you need to lead your shots or that you need to shoot higher. However, if you want to get better at cannons, you need to understand the two different factors in shooting the cannonball. The first thing I want to establish is that there's no magic way to hit shots. The reason why you see all these good players hitting shots is simply because they've grinded thousands of hours into the game, so they've been in literally every single situation that could occur when you shoot a cannonball. A cannonball can only go so far, so there's a limited amount of scenarios that could happen when shooting one. So while I will tell you some things that make it easier to shoot cannons, eventually there just comes a point where you've played the game for so long that you just know where to shoot because you've been in this exact same situation before. Anyways. The easiest way to know how high to shoot your cannons is to follow the opposing team's arc. Since both ships are equal distance apart from each other, if the opposing crew is hitting your boat with a specific arc, then if you match and follow that same arc, you'll also hit them. If you see that they're shooting too high, then you just readjust and aim slightly lower than their arc and you'll hit. Same if they're shooting too low, just readjust your cannon according to their arc and you'll hit. And this follow the arc strategy also works for your own boat. Since your teammates are side by side with you, if one of them starts hitting with a certain arc, then you can all follow his arc and you'll all start hitting. Now if you have the opening broad and you can't follow the other team's arc because you're the first one shooting, then you can't really tell how high or low you need to shoot. In this case, it's always better to shoot too high rather than too low. Reason being, if you shoot too high, then you'll still have a chance at hitting the masts. But if you're shooting too low, then not only are you unable to see where your cannonball is going and where you need to readjust, but you also have zero chance of hitting the other boat. It's usually better to shoot too high rather than too low. But anyways, the big thing that's the difference maker between a good cannon and a great cannon is being able to hit specific parts of a ship quickly and consistently. And the only way to do that is to know exactly where you're hitting in the first place. On a sloop it's pretty simple. Since you're the only person shooting cannons, it's pretty easy to figure out where your shot's going. However, when you get on a galleon crew and you have three other cannonballs in the air conflicting, it can get pretty confusing in figuring out which cannonball is yours. In order to figure out which cannonball is yours, you need to get into the habit of moving your cannon out of the way once you shoot. Whenever you take a shot, you need to move your cannon down or to the side so that you can have a clear vision of where your cannonball is going so you can readjust once you see it land. If you just keep your cannon pointed straight up, then you'll have no clue where your shots are going, and you're going to be missing way more often. Get into the habit of moving your cannon out of the way and following your cannonball so you know whether it's too high or too low. Now there's one more crucial piece of the puzzle when it comes to being a good cannoneer, and that's dodging the cannonballs. If you're constantly getting knocked around by cannonballs and blender bombs, then not only will you be limited in the amount of cannonballs that you're shooting, but you'll also be constantly healing. You need to be minimizing damage at all times during a naval fight. 
and you should never be getting one balled. Almost every single time you get one balled, it's avoidable. And even if a cannon isn't going to directly kill you, you need to minimize the damage by moving away from the shot. And obviously, there will be times you will get one balled. Most of the time it's due to smoke being in your eyes because your teammates are shooting cannons right next to you, so you can't see what's going on. But for 99% of situations, you can almost always dodge the cannonball. Here's an example of what I mean by minimizing damage. This clip was recorded before the blunderbomb nerf, and I'm still reducing knockback and minimizing damage to the point where I rarely have to eat, and I am never getting one ball or knocked off the ship, despite the fact that he's hitting every single shot. If I hadn't been minimizing damage, I would have either been dead, knocked off the boat, or at the very least been healing the entire time, and I would have put absolutely zero pressure onto their boat and we would have sunk. This is why it's imperative that you don't take unnecessary damage. The more damage you take, the higher risk of dying to a cannonball, the longer you need to spend off of cannons because you have to heal. One thing to remember when you're deciding whether or not to dodge a cannonball is to be wary of what's behind you. If you're the main cannon on a sloop, brigantine, or galleon, you have a gigantic mast behind you. So even if the shot will clearly go over your head, if it happens to hit the mast or anchor that's located directly behind you, then you'll need to dodge that shot and minimize the damage. Make sure that you dodge the cannonball, then immediately grab back onto the cannon in order to completely negate the knockback that the cannonball provides, so that you don't have to run into the risk of getting knocked off the ship. Like I said before, Every single time you die to a one ball or get knocked off the ship, it's almost always preventable. Remember, the less damage you take, the more cannons you can shoot. The more cannons you shoot, the more pressure the other crew has, and the higher chance you have of winning the broad. Now there are two types of shots. There's lower decks and top decks. You usually want to start with top decks because they're easier to hit. So you hit a whole bunch of top decks and create the arc for hitting. Then you simply aim slightly lower and you can start pumping lowers. Now on a sloop or brigantine, this doesn't really apply, because there's only one deck. Hitting the boat will create a top deck and bottom deck hole. But on a galleon, you have to pick and choose which one you're going to go for. And as a main cannon, your job is to hit top decks and only top decks. You are the person who needs to be providing constant pressure and getting hit markers with every shot you take. Reason being, if your entire team only hits lower decks, then you'll leave the opposing crew free to shoot you to their heart's desire. And if your entire team only hit top decks, then you'll never provide lower pressure and they'll never sink. You have to have some people hit tops and some hit bottoms. Your job is to hit top decks and make sure that they never have a moment to breathe. Now, if they're not shooting back and no one is top deck for you to kill, then you can hit lower decks. One thing to remember about pumping lowers is that you don't all want to be hitting the same spot. If all four of you are hitting the same two holes, you're throwing. You can put a total of eight holes onto one side of a galleon. One in the front, one in the back, and six on the side. Every single one of those holes needs to be opened as a tier three. The way to communicate who shoots which hole is very simple. You shoot the side of the ship closest to your cannon. So if your cannon is closest to the front of the opposing ship, then you shoot the front. If it's closest to the back, then you're in charge of hitting back holes. Since Flex and Bilge's cannons are two and three, the middle ones, they'll shoot the middle of the ship. If you can put in all eight tier threes, then the other crew will be under so much pressure they won't be able to be an effective crew. So make sure you're not all hitting the same spot and be sure to spread out the lowers. That's really all you need to know in order to become a good cannoneer. However, moving on to the specifics of main cannon as a role, there are a couple things to keep in mind. Firstly, front mast is your responsibility. Bend and back is for flex and helm, but your job is to repair front mast when it cracks and if your helm calls to catch front, that's your job. And whenever you don't have an angle to shoot a ship, and your helm calls for you to raise sails, that's usually Flux and Bilge's job. There are situations where you would help raise the sails, like if you don't have an angle to shoot the other ship, or the helm calls for a double raise, but for the most part, you want to focus on getting shots as soon as possible. Since you're the main cannon, it's your job to set the arc for your team to follow your shots. Bilge and helm will usually not be able to be on cannons, so it's important that when they can get on the cannons, they have an arc to follow rather than having to spend time figuring out how much to lead and how high to shoot. As main cannon, it's your job to create the arc that your team can follow, and to constantly provide cannon pressure. Another thing to remember is to stagger your reballs. Main cannon and flex will usually always be on cannons, and in an adventure where you have 50,000 cannonballs in a storage crate top deck, this won't happen too often. However, if you ever start playing in a competitive league like Legacy Brawl Hub or League of Thieves, then you'll want to be staggering your reballs. 
So what does staggering your reballs actually mean? I'm glad I asked. When you go down to refill on cannonballs, known as reballing, you lose cannon pressure for about 7 seconds. And since bilge will always be down below bucketing, and helm is usually on the wheel, for most of the time spent in a broad, you're only going to have two people shooting cannons at a time. MC and flex will be the two main cannoneers, and it is critical that you don't both reball at the same time. Because while 7 seconds may not seem like a long time, it can give the other crew just enough leeway to take back the broad since they aren't being pressured. Now usually it's Flex's job to reball early, so if you both have 10 cannonballs, the Flex will reball when they have between 3 and 5 cannonballs left in their pockets. This means that when the Flex has refilled back to 10 cannonballs and is back on top deck, the MC has run out of cannonballs and needs to go downstairs to reball. This will create a system that allows for at least one person to be on cannons providing pressure at all times, with the added side effect of giving the bill to courtesy bucket once every couple seconds. Also, when you're reballing, Always take a courtesy bucket. A courtesy bucket, or cert, is when you go down below deck to refill your cannonballs and you take a scoop of water with you. When you get into the higher levels of play, giving courtesies and taking a bucket every time you reball is the difference between winning and sinking. So make sure that you get into the habit of always taking a bucket whenever you go down below to reball. Even if the water is only one scoop till empty, always take a cert, as this will allow your bilge to be up top shooting cannons much faster. Remember, Kurt, your local bilge. It's the difference between winning and sinking. Another big part about being in the main cannon is to be good at defending ladders. Specifically on a galleon, it is your job to watch ladders when you're in high pressure situations. When you have taken a lot of holes and your team needs both the flex and the bilge to be down below bucketing, it is up to helm and main cannon to watch the ladders and to not let the other crew on board. Now this is pretty simple as long as you remember one thing. Don't run over great. A good bilge will be throwing water through the grate and keeping the boat afloat. However, if you're running back and forth across the grate watching for borders, then your bilge will backsplash on you and you will sink and get yelled at. The way to guard ladders in order to avoid blocking your bilge's bucket is to not run at these specific spots. If you're standing here, you risk backsplashing and sinking your boat. Which means that the best way for you to avoid throwing the game for your team is to run back and forth behind the grate. That way you can prevent yourself from sinking your boat. You could also peek over the edge next to cannon line and start sniping them from the water. But if you need to one blunder them, just make sure you run behind the grate. I'll make a more in-depth tutorial about how to effectively guard ladders slash how to become a better border 2.0, but that's for a later date. For now, just don't run over great. Now like I did with my helm video I made a while ago, I asked you all in my discord if there are any specific questions about main cannon that you wanted me to answer in this video. One thing I got so often was, how many supplies should I have top deck and storage crates for easy access, and how many should be in the barrels? In my opinion, it doesn't really matter. I explained how giving a courtesy bucket to the bilge will be the difference between winning and losing. However, for 99.9% .9 of the fights you take, it's really not going to matter whether you have the supplies top deck or in barrels. So do what you want. If you want all the supplies top deck, go for it. Just be careful, because all it takes is one border to throw off your storage crates with your supplies, and now you're broke. How do I get better at shooting cannons when waves are a huge factor? You can't. Waves stink. Plain and simple. Your helm is usually in control of how much the waves affect the boat, and if you're sitting full raised, then the waves are going to be atrocious. So if you see your helm keeping your boat full pulled, yell at him. However, eventually you'll just have waves regardless of what your helm does, and you just have to hit the shots anyway. The only thing you can do is when you see that your boat is going downward, aim the cannon slightly higher and when you see your ship climbing upward, aim slightly lower. That's really it. And as you become more accustomed to different situations, you'll get used to how it all works and become more comfortable with how to hit shots. But yeah, waves are bad and difficult to shoot in. There's no magic way to start hitting, it's just experience and knowing, oh, last time I did this, so next time I need to do this. How do blunderbombs work in nosing a ship into me? I'm going to tell you a story. Back when something called the Notorious Arena League was a thing, there were 50 teams that tried to figure out how the blunderbombs worked. Pride, rewards, and sales with a trophy on them were on the line. You know how many of those competitive teams and sweats spent hours upon hours trying to figure out how the blunderbombs worked? You know how many of them succeeded? Two. Anyways, I'm not telling you. Number one, because I myself don't fully understand how it works in all situations. And number two, even if I did, it's pretty sensitive information. You'd be better off getting pay rate to tell you the secret. But what I will say is especially with the blunderbomb nerf, just blunderbomb the front of the enemy boat. 
Maybe it'll nose them, maybe it won't. But it's better than just shooting cannon line and doing nothing. How do I deck shot somebody? Shooting a player is about the same trajectory as a chain shot, but it's still really hard to deck shot. Your best bet to deck shot somebody is to shoot them onto the ladder of a ship. That way they have a physical object that they can grab onto, rather than having to aim it perfectly and get a deck land. But besides that, it's just skill and a little bit of luck in order to hit deck shots. Just demast them, it's easier. What should I do when I'm on a high wave and I can't shoot the other boat? Snipe them. If you're the type of guy to run sword pistol or sword blunder, unless you're a bilge, you're throwing. Get a sniper and shoot the guy. Don't just sit there like an idiot. Put pressure onto him and snipe him. Make him heal. Then by the time you've reloaded your sniper, you'll have angle to shoot them with your cannons. How do I hit chain shots? Chain shots are slightly slower than cannonballs, so your best bet is to hit with cannonballs first, then simply lead slightly more and aim slightly higher in order to land the chain shot. If you miss because you're too far to the left, then aim more to the right, and vice versa. There's no magic way to hit shots. There's no specific place you can aim that'll always hit the other ship. It just comes with experience. But yeah, hit a cannonball first, then adjust to hit the chain shots. How do I know when I should be using fire bombs, blunder bombs, chain shots, or curse balls? First off, unless you're a smaller ship fighting a bigger ship, you should not be using curse balls. They're unfun and make the game boring, and they make an otherwise fun fight into an anchor ball, ballast ball, sleep ball, sink, snooze fest. That being said, you can do whatever you want. They're in the game for a reason, so shoot curse balls when you're in range to hit them without any risk of missing. And you can shoot chain shots whenever they're turning off to run away, or you can do it preemptively when they're not firing back at you. However, it's usually the helm's call on whether you should be shooting chain shots or not. Blunder bombs and fire bombs are up to you. Fire bombs are only useful for galleons, and I would recommend to have helm and build shoot fire bombs since they're not going to be on cannons all that often. And having fire on your ship puts you at a huge disadvantage when fighting galleon versus galleon. But in reality, just shoot cannonballs and fire bombs from long range, then when you get closer, you can shoot your blunder bombs to try and nose them, and your curse balls to sink them. When should main cannon be going for boards? If you watch my stream, then you might have heard me say this before, but when I'm playing on Galleon, my motto is to send at least two boarders or send none at all. Reason being, I find sending a double board is medium risk, high reward, whereas sending a single board is low risk, low reward. I find sending two boarders, flex and main cannon, create much more opportunity and chances for them to actually succeed in making it on. But back to the question at hand, it's up to your helm. In general, the flex is the main border and main cannon is secondary, but you can do whatever you want. Just listen to the helm's call, he'll tell you when to board. How do you win the broad? That's a great question. And there are lots of technical things I could get into, like how the bilges are supposed to hit lower decks to make each other go down, then the flexes hit lowers to make the other flex go down, and main cannon hits top decks trying one ball people and hit masts, and then depending on your team, the helm might be a top deck or lower deck shooter, and all this other stuff. But anyways, it's not that serious half the time. Either one ball them top deck, or hit enough lowers that they can't outbucket it. Obviously when you fight good crews, you need both top deck and bottom deck pressure, but in reality, for most of your hourglass fights, just by not dying and minimizing damage, you'll just win as long as you can keep angle. What's the best way to train cannon aim? Hourglass PvP. Especially since you can get so much cannonballs nowadays, just fight in hourglass PvP. You'll get so much experience with shooting cannons, and don't get me wrong, you're going to get absolutely rolled in your first couple sessions. But as long as you can look back on what went wrong and fix what you did, you'll become a much better player. When should I aim at the helm and try to break their wheel? The short answer is to hit it when you know you can. Wheel is hard to break because there's a banister in the way, but if you're decently close to each other and you're on a high wave that puts your boat over the banister, then absolutely target the wheel and make the helm's life miserable. But other than that, don't just target wheel for no reason, because if you miss, it's like you didn't shoot a cannonball to begin with. Don't miss, and don't try to shoot it when they're far away or you're low on a wave. How do I call out my shots to my teammates? just tell them where you're aiming. For the most part, you can just say which cannon is hitting. If you're main cannon, you're on cannon 1. So you'd say, cannon 1 hitting tops. If you want to get fancy, you can call out where you're aiming. Like if you're aiming at their crow's nest, you can call out, aim crow's nest for lowers. But in reality, you just follow each other's arcs. Normally just saying, cannon 1 hitting tops, is enough for your team to know where to aim. Where do mid decks end and lower decks begin on a galleon? right under the decoration cannons on the galleon. Anywhere below this line is a lower deck. Anywhere above it is a mid deck. When should I be shooting top decks or lower decks? 
As a main cannon, you should aim top decks until the other crew stops shooting back, then start hitting lower decks. But be very careful, because if the other crew is really close to you, even though they might not be on cannons right now, all it takes is one one ball, and now you have one guy dead and one guy rezzing. Two people off of cannons. So be very careful in making sure that they never get on cannons when you're close range. Should I load my cannon while I'm not on the cannon? Sure. If you're in a situation where you're having to constantly dodge the cannon fire, and you can't be on the cannon for long enough to load it before needing to dodge the next cannonball, then it's perfectly acceptable to load the cannon from your hand rather than being on the cannon. How do I dodge cannonballs consistently? I mean, there's not much to it. If you see a cannonball coming and it's going to knock you off the cannon, dodge it. Minimize the damage. There are certain places you can hide, like if you're on a galleon, there's this little wall you can tuck behind. But just move away from the cannon shot, then grab back onto the cannon as soon as possible to reduce the knockback. Who shoots what when you need to be shooting chain shots? In an ideal world, you would hit every single chain shot you send, so only one person would need to shoot chain shots, while everybody else keeps shooting cannonballs. However, you're gonna miss shots, it's just how it is. So if the other crew is turning off, then you don't have an angle to shoot you, then everyone shoots chain shots. However, if they're still actively taking the broad with you, then the helm can just call out who he wants to shoot. Helm can call out, flex, shoot chain shots. It doesn't matter really who does it, as long as somebody can. Now obviously with everything I explained in this video, it's not all 100% you use this tactic for every single situation. There will be times where you'll want to go against what I've said, because this particular scenario calls for it. However, for the most part, follow the arc, minimize damage, spread out the lowers, and don't run over, great. Hopefully this video was a little helpful and might have helped break down how to aim cannons a bit better than before. And if you have any more questions or comments, put them in the comment section of this video and I'll be sure to answer them. And be sure to join the Discord so you can vote on the poll on which role you'd like me to cover next. Anyways, good luck.